Welcome to Block Factory, a game that appears to be a love child between Shapes.io and Lego. Thank you to the devs for sponsoring. If you like what you see, go check out the free demo on Steam. I appear to be in the ocean and I need to extract some mossy rock. So if I come over here and get a peace dispenser. So I'm extracting the Lego bricks from the ground. So a conveyor belt, press and then, okay, I see. So you don't drag per se. You set up a whole line of belts. And then the Lego bricks start coming in as it goes to the, the altar. Increase the production of each figurine to get coins. I can use coins to get better machines. All right, so I'm making money from Legos. So now looks like I'm making a new shape. I gotta make whatever shape this is. Combination of two pieces stacked on top of each other. So it looks like we're gonna be building some bricks. Okay, I see I got single piece and double pieces. So in order to stack them again, I need a stacking machine. Plop it down and I can set up a new set of conveyor belts here and another set here. And then I need to configure this correctly. So I can stack with like this on the bottom and then this on top of it. And it's gotta fit in a four by four and be stacked. Well, come out is half of it. Then I'm gonna need another stacker. First little combination, and then I need a splitter. Uh, that just happens actually automatically, okay, by dragging conveyor belts, and then configure this. So on the bottom, I have one, and then on the top, well, this doesn't quite look right. Oh, I think I actually built the first piece wrong. Yeah, the first piece should be like this, but if that's configured, then we can reconfigure this, where it's like, hold on, let me clear out the old pieces, and then enter in the new pieces. So now that there's new pieces, I can actually configure this. I'm like, why is the shape not making? Oh, it's because I'm dumb. Okay. That's the shape. It's exactly what we want. And built. So the four by four configuration is interesting. Wonder if I can take more inputs or if I just have to keep doing a series of stackers. But my algae has entered. Well, now we have glue. I gotta find this piece. Okay, because not all of them have brick attachments. Sometimes you just gotta glue them on the side. And let's see, this seems to be one of the pieces, and this seems to be another one. So let's make sure we got this, all right? Extract, extract, and then I'll put a glue boy just like smack in the middle here. So it can only join pieces by the sides. Once we're in it, I can start configuring to make the bottom piece. It looks like I'm gonna have to double glue. Yeah, unless if I can put take in a third input. That's how it's gonna go. So I'll get a second glue machine. Okay, it looks like there has to be a little bit of space between them. Enough space for one whole, whole belt, and then also a split right there. So then this can be configured. Rotate you, there we go. It's glued. So then we take our uh, starfish and put it into the pit. Ah, well, next up I can cut some bricks. Okay, well, it looks like I gotta make a turtle. Uh, I actually like these creations. It, it did feel like the shape style creations were lacking soul. And even this tiny turtle is pretty cute. Wait, where's the eyeball on it? Okay, so I need one by two. Oh, am I supposed to like cut off a corner? Oh, possibly. And then the one by threes? Or are these separate shapes? So we have one point by three P, one point by two RLS, and a one by two P is not found in the wild. Okay, so I have to cut this piece. So extract some of this and this and the rls right over here so it looks like i need a cutter not the country but this thing right here so i can figure it to make it into a one by two because that's what i need for the turtle take a look at this okay i think i could combine or i think glue together two of these pieces whereas like if i do this i just split it off like such Configure that, and then glue it together like that. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you just yet. Then I can do something similar over here. Get another glue boy, configure it. And those will just go side by side. We're looking good now. However, I think it's gonna get a little bit spaghettified, huh? Oh, what the, there's a teleporter. That may help with the spaghetti. Okay, I can teleport yay far. Okay, well, why would I not just build a chain of teleporters then? Perfect, it's space efficient. It just uses the dark powers. And it has to be in a straight line. Can I teleport past this? Yes, I can. All right, so that's important because we got to actually come and connect some of these pieces. 
I'll do two sets of stackers, because I think that's what it'll take. One here, and then one here. Belt, and belt. And you can get your ass over to the other entrance. Right, so first stack. Uh, that could just be like the back legs. Save it. And then this configures with these legs, okay? And then we glue again, and it all comes together. Right here, rotate this, put it in, in the front. And I think that's what we wanted. Dude, I really hope I can add like an eyeball from somewhere. Or maybe it'll like automatically eyeball itself? Let's see. Okay, so that's, that's the turtle minus the eyeball. Okay, the eyeball is just for display. Honestly, since this is a demo, they should add eyeballs to the game. That'd, That'd be, be pretty, pretty slick. slick. Wait, now I have a diorama. Oh, is that the whole purpose of this? Like, we're getting stuff for, like, a Lego diorama. Because now I've made all these pieces. Now it's got the eyeball. Ah. So now that I've made it, I can... <laughs> I can create something greater. And use that to make a nice little ocean underground scene. Oh, I actually quite like that. That's that very charming. You know, it's nice to know that your work is actually going towards something tangible. Rather than just, like, more work. I can also get more coins and stars, or we could make more dioramas. Oh, now we get to see the purpose of coins. So I can upgrade stuff, but I'm too broke. Oh, I want to get an upgrade. I get a coin if I increase the production of the starfish and the turtle. So my choke point appears to be these funny legs. Okay. Mine more of them. Glue more of them. And then kind of like copy instructions. Copy, paste. I think so. It's a nice little hack. And then drag it out. So I've doubled the production of these. And finally upping the production here. Up to 30 per minute. Oh, I thought I'd be able to do more with that. Okay, well I guess I could do like a whole another set of copies. Like that. Okay, here we go. A brand new set of turtles. Well, now there's a new choke point. So this only outputs 30 per minute. So if I could get another cutter and just split it off into here, then we're good. Okay, production should be up across the board now, right? No, because this is also 30 per minute. Damn it. Okay, almost there. Okay, the process is much more spaghettified, but I think I'm finally above the 45 per minute. I think I just need to hold that for a minute. Now, starfish. What well, looks like to me, just another set of these would be perfect. Yeah, copy all that, and then output it there. Okay, so now I'm supporting two productions, but then I'm gonna need more extractors. Like that. Ooh, so the turtle's actually evened out at 40 per minute. Well, what's the choke point? Is it these? Let's well, see, maybe I could try, like, try to balance these? Where like the, the middle boys get a bit more action? Well, but now this is getting less action. Just trying to figure out how to balance this. No, it's still low. More input. Please increase the production. Well, it's stalling out 42 again, and this isn't the choke point. Hey, I did get a coin. Oh, and this is holding out at 46. If that can be stable, we've done it. Hey. Oh, and I got a star. I see. So if I get higher production, I get more stars. Well, I want the coins. Let's send that. And now I can upgrade a stacker 3.0. So left side makes them more efficient. Right side gives me more tools. I like more tools. We get a stacker 3.0. I've got a red brick unlocking a new land, the farm. Cattle be grazing. And now I have a, a sloper. I can shear off the top of a piece. Like I like a pumpkin. Okay, so orange and green bricks. Why does it look like I can make the pumpkin without that? Well, it depends on what the bottom piece is. Oh. The bottom piece needs to be sheared, I see. Okay, so extract whatever this is down here. So one of them will be sloped, and the output will be the ROS. I get 60 of them per minute. So I think I'm just gonna get a second extractor going. And then I think I can actually just use a two stacker here. And with that, this goes on the bottom, this goes on top, save it. Well, I guess actually, hold on, I could delete this and be a little cheeky. Because this is five pieces total. I could first merge three into one, and then use that one to merge with the last two, and using just two triple stackers. 
And plus, I definitely want to use the new thing. So we can get this all together about here, give or take. And a stacker 3.0, ready to accept all your goods. Bam, bam, and bam. So now, bottom, middle, one of the tops, which is perfectly fine. And then I'll just get like a central-ish stacker 3.0 and get the job done. So with the gang all here, go bam, bam, and pumpkin. The spitting image of one. Very festive. Nice, so okay, now I can paint stuff, huh? To make a bluebird, combine a block with paint dye to change the color to how I want it to be. So yeah, I need a one by one S, one by one P, one by two, RLS and one by one S in blue. So I see blue dye here, just looking like water and yellow bricks. There's no yellow dye, so it looks like I'm starting with yellow and going into blue. Ooh, I got a coin for pumpkins. So I imagine all the yellow pieces should probably come from like the two by two P and the two by two LS. I'm not exactly sure what P and LS stand for. I could guess, but it's probably gonna contain like a lot of swearing. Let me try a couple cutters here out of this, right? So two cutters, one of them will make, oh, it can only make a one by two P. But what if it doesn't have to P? Okay, this is fine then. Um, one of them can directly go into another cutter to become like a one by one. So that's simple. And the other one I think goes right into a sloper. Yeah, because I think I need an RLS. Yeah, RLS at the bottom. I also need a one by one S. Well, that would probably come from here then. Yeah, maybe a cutter here. Okay, I can make a one by two S. Actually, I, I can make uh, two cutters. I think both doing exactly the same thing. Well, then a, another series of cutters, right? Yeah, because that just gets me a nice one by one S. It seems like the extra parts are just thrown away, but maybe you get to unlock some better stuff. So right out of it will come uh, two sets of yellows. One of them's turning blue, the other one's not. So now we got some painters. Dye dispenser. First I gotta extract the goop. I assume that just goes on a conveyor belt. That it does. So then painter. Paints at 60 a minute. And I think it dyes the block without discrimination. Because I certainly don't want to discriminate. Yeah, let's get two sets of dyes. One will go here. And the other will go here. And right from the get-go, I'm gonna just get a little bit of extra dispensed. So then one of these can make it over here. Screw the green bricks. All my homies hate the green bricks. And then it can teleport across to here. Oh wait, it does 60 per minute though. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do then is get rid of this big belt and just combine them into one belt because again it, it dies without discrimination oh but then we'll have two separate things on the same belt i don't know if that's a good idea that seems like a bad idea to have two separate things on the same belt i do know that means you'll need a third painter then for the third part like that and this will kind of come around here so three painted parts one non-painted part let's get stacking i think it's a triple stack and a single glue so you stack the blue boys together, like that. This on the bottom, middle, and then on top, just like that. And then a glue here. So then, his body is here and it glues on, oh, wait, can I not glue into the middle? That's frustrating. Okay, well, that's fine. I could just change the order then. I can change the order of this. Um, also, I think I had to do some clearing of stuff. I'm gonna delete this too. Okay, this is a little awkward, but I think I can manage. What I'm just gonna need is a glue structure. And this is incredibly awkward, but I think if I just set up a little teleporter back here, I can then get it to come all the way across and get glued together with this piece. And then this piece can come around and become stacked. Let me just clear out a couple copies and then see what's the input. Okay, now I think we actually have everything, all right? You on the bottom, you in the middle, and you on the top. There we go. A beautiful bird. Get it in? Just give me an X. So how, how is this wrong? 
Okay, one by two R L S P S S. So these are the same. Did I slightly assemble it wrong? Oh, oh, the beak isn't yellow enough. Wait, what? It's a dark yellow. Wait, where do I get the yellow version then? Is this like a slopeable thing? Oh, it is. I see, I see. Okay, well, mildly frustrating. Yeah, because this th whole thing could just go to hell. So I need a new extractor with its own set of cutters. Can I do a sloper from here? I mean, the order doesn't quite matter. I can make a 1x2s, copy it, and then a cutter here. So there we go. This is what is actually needed. Here, this is what it's looking for. I can guarantee that. Oh, except this needs to be reconfigured. So I need to like clear it so I can reconfigure this like that. And then let me make sure it doesn't mess up the next part. Oh, because this needs to be reset and reconfigured. Color's got to be just right. But why even have dark yellow here? You better have a use for that dark yellow. Otherwise, its existence makes me upset. Uh, at least am I getting 30 per minute? I am a crusher. I can crush a block and obtain its dye. Well, that's useful. Okay, to make a crow. Hey, and I got the bluebird coin. So just looking at this, one by two S's, one by two LS, two by two P all in black. Otherwise we got yellow. And just looking around the map, I actually only see one by two S's in black, which means I am gonna have to crush this to a nice little black die. Crusher, 60 per minute, one per second. So yeah, that's just get me a ton of black dye. Actually, I don't know if this is what I want to be a black dye. I should actually do it closer to this yellow over here. Minor change, but I think it makes it easier for me. Yeah, so I need a two by two and a one by two. So painter can get star right here. That's a little black two by two. And here, probably gonna need some cutting into a one by two and then a sloper. I guess I'm actually gonna need two of each. I just need an LS. There also seems to be a two by two LS needed and a one by two LS. So basically I just need another set of yellow two by twos. I get some from way over the map and start sloping. And this can come way, 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 way over here. So I believe the gang's all here. Uh, no, I think I'm missing one piece. And that's this piece over here. Yeah, just pipe it in from long distances and now I can start stacking. How do I want to do this? So I need two individual feet and then the two by two. So a 3.0 stacker. Looking something like this. Get the base down. Yeah, that looks right. And then another three big stacker. All right, take this output, put it into there, and then split this up into two. All right, so I've got this, and then these are like its wings right in the back. And then it looks like I'm gonna need a three stacker and a two stacker. I think I'll actually do a two stacker here and a three stacker here just to kind of keep the wires not from crossing. So right into here, then take its output, put it there, bring this over. And bring this over. So first thing first with this, just a very simple stack here. And now the piece de resistance. Get you here and complete the bird. That's looking pretty nice. Time for the machine to eat crow. At least it better be right. Hey, now we're talking. I got a super stacker for bigger figures and an enlarger. I could sure use one of those. Super stacker and mega stacker. I assume it just allows for a larger output. And that would take the input from like two super stackers. Yeah, look at this. Tiny arrow into big arrow and big conveyor belt. Real quick though, I've got a choke point. Choke point in what? Oh, I see. Choke point in these pieces. You know what I'm gonna do then? Merge these and then do some copy pasting here. There. Is that gonna get it done though? Or is there a different choke point now? Oh, I'm at 30. Can it hold? I believe so, just barely. Hey, got the coin for it. 
So now, if you want to see the enlarger, go and play the demo yourself. Check it out, make some sick creations, complete this diorama, you know you want to. And I'd like to thank you all for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, see you in the next video, have a wonderful day, and peace.